Today, you may have heard Texas opened up. No more mask mandate or dining rules enforced by that state's government. It's one of five states that have or will end their mandates. But you may have heard of the local angle to this. Last night, the city of Ramsey and the Northwest Metro voted to stop enforcing the mask mandate in their city that's coming from the state. There's a problem with that, though. The city attorney said to do this, it will be illegal. Here's Chris. In what seemed more like a Supreme Court hearing at times, the Ramsey City Council meeting Tuesday night became the latest political forum. I'd like to welcome everybody here tonight. On the constitutionality of Governor Walz's mask mandate. It is my opinion that this executive order is contrary to the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights regulates what the government, the federal government, and the state governments can do to residents. Council members Ryan Henneman and Chelsea Howell introduced a resolution stating the city would not enforce the state mask mandate, and the council approved it by a vote of four to three. Howell compared Walls' executive order to the likes of women's suffrage in Japanese internment camps. In the entire history of the world, we have never put entire populations of countries or states in masks. We have not covered their ability to breathe and restricted their breathing. There is no precedent for this. How can that not be considered experimental research? Other council members and residents disagreed. It already is Supreme Court precedent to say that states can do this. But then secondly, even if you don't believe that to be true, this is not the appropriate means for trying to fight that item. Whether you pass it or don't pass it, it's, it's my understanding and belief that you cannot direct your law enforcement office to not force the law. I couldn't stop coughing and my lungs hurt pretty bad. Ramsey Mayor Mark Kuzma said Monday was his first day back after battling COVID-19. He considered last night's vote particularly harsh considering what he just went through. Where it becomes a problem if, if uh, the bars start to uh, not uh, abide by the law, you know, and, and things open up, that's where I think it could get hairy and that opens us up to, to I don't know, you know, so, uh, liabilities that I, that I don't really know about yet. He said, for now, the resolution has no teeth. To enforce it would be to break the law. Council members who introduced the resolution couldn't be reached today, but the attorney general's office could be reached, saying, quote, every Minnesotan deserves to feel safe in their communities, and it's every Minnesotan's responsibility to stop the spread of COVID-19. Other jurisdictions across Minnesota recognize the legal and public health rationale for the governor's executive orders, and public health officials agree on the importance of wearing a mask to protect oneself and each other. These executive orders take precedence over the measures passed by any lower unit of government. So, Jen.